if a patient has a lifetime risk of 22% or greater, they're eligible also for MRI screening uh, in addition to getting their annual mammogram. So maybe you could walk us through some of the methods, the different methods that you use and what the risks and benefits, or not risks, what are the benefits of those different methods? Absolutely. And there's really, there's, there's two sets of numbers that we talk about when it comes to genetics as well as breast cancer risk. The one set of numbers is what's the likelihood that there is something genetic? And the other one is what's the likelihood of developing cancer? And so yeah. there are models that can do both. There are models that can do one or the other. And so some of the, the great tools that we use, there's one called BRCA Pro or Cancer Gene. There's another one that's an individualized breast assessment tool called Tyracusic. And these are models where we put in the family structure, the cancers in the family, the age of onset, and some of the patient's personal hormone profile, things like how old they were when they started their periods. Mm if they've had children or not, and if they have, how old were they when they first had children? And so we can use these very robust models to help calculate both the probability that there's a mutation in the patient and family, as well as then what is the cancer risk. And that's, that's really, if, if we identify something genetic, the genes tell us what the level of risk is because of all the data that's out there. But if the genetic testing is negative and there's still family history that we can't explain away, then these models will calculate, okay, given a mother and a sister with breast cancer or a mother and my dad's aunt with breast cancer, right. what's my risk? And if that risk, so the average woman's risk is about 12% in the lifetime. Right. If there's family history, it increases. And if someone's risk based upon family history is above a certain threshold, then absolutely we would recommend that not only mammogram be included, but also breast MRI to screen that woman's breast tissue, often starting at a younger than typical age if the, the cancer in the family warrants it. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Harness, and I want to share with you important information that I believe that every newly diagnosed patient with breast cancer needs to know. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want every woman to know about personalized breast cancer treatment and the genomic test. A test that helps guide a woman and her doctor to the best treatment options for her. Pass it on.